And also one of the other reasons is that we on Friday announced that we're now performing a rights issue in the company. So um, uh, please, if you after the session have any questions, come up, up to me. Buildings account for one third of final energy use globally and uh, about on the same level when it comes to carbon dioxide uh, emissions. If you look at this area, there's, there's a lot of construction work going on in London. I think there are more than 450 high-rise buildings uh, being planned for right now. If energy efficiency was the only, uh, let's say, the, the only focus, we wouldn't have any windows, we wouldn't have any glass facades, we wouldn't have any roof windows. Thereby, we would solve this problem, we wouldn't uh, have any problems with heat leaking out during the winter, and heat radiation coming in uh, during the, the summer season, causing uh, need for cooling and energy for cooling. Um, but that's not the, the, the uh, uh, case today. As we see, there's just more and more glass in architecture. The reason for that is that we as humans, we need daylight we need to look outside to get a view in order to feel well, in order to be productive. So what we do is we make buildings more attractive. We have a dynamic glass where you actually can control the light and heat radiation coming in through the windows. Uh, it's like putting sunglasses on a building. When you wear sunglasses, you don't even think about them. They're just there. The same thing is with this technology. You put them in the dark uh, position, you can still look out, you get an excellent view, great optical quality, um, but you block 90% of the heat radiation that would have entered the room otherwise, and thereby you save a lot of energy. For the property owners, this means that you get lower energy costs and also reducing maintenance costs and facilitates green building certifications, which I would say almost is mandatory today when it comes to new constructions. For the tenants, this means that you get improved indoor comfort and also improved productivity. We are today targeting commercial buildings, offices, and thereby improving the, the, uh, the indoor comfort. And for the architects and building contractors, this means improved efficacy. This might not have been the way this architect imagined the building from the beginning, but this was necessary in order to control this problem. You're blocking the view, but you're also blocking the heat radiation from entering the building. Our solution, which you can see up there, is totally integrated into the glass uh, with no movable parts and reduces very, very little energy. It's a glass that is mounted on the outer glass. Uh, it's a technology that is mounted on the outer glass, uh, glass laminate. It requires two volts and 0 0.05 watts to do a switch, and that is all it needs. Once it's in a certain position, it doesn't need any more energy. It can be applied on roof glass, facade glass, and windows on bent or curved glass, circular glass, triangular glass. All the possibilities are there. It's being controlled automatically or manually, but the most um, usual way to control it is automatically with a building management system. And our technology is also, Convolite is totally com uh, compatible with the existing uh, building management systems. You can switch certain specific windows, uh, a group of windows or facade glass, or the whole facade at once. We have now started commercialization in 2016. This is uh, an anecdote, but the ICE Hotel up in northern part of Sweden is today using our um, electrochromic windows. Office buildings in northern part of Stockholm, shopping malls, and we're today active in Stock in Sweden, Denmark, and in Norway. We're also looking at retrofit, where we're actually upgrading existing buildings. It's a fascinating technology that facilitates green building uh, certifications, lowers energy and maintenance costs, and improves co uh, 
comfort for the tenants. If you have any questions, please come up to me after the presentation. Thank you very much.